Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Gaming Gear, and you join me today for a very different video to the run of the mill stuff that I normally put out regarding armor videos and stuff. There is another armor video in the pipeline, so don't uh, don't worry about that. I'm not changing. This is a one-off video for the time being. Um, just because I found this awesome new game called War Robots. This is an Android or iOS game, so that's why the graphics look a little bit sketchy. It is an iOS or Android uh, a mobile game. Basically what you have to do is uh, run around and shoot other ro robots which are controlled by other players. It's kind of like Battlefield but with robots. Obviously you can change your loadouts, upgrade your weapons and stuff like that. And today I'm going to be talking about how we get some more gold because the gold is horribly uh, priced, as you can see there. Um, you know, four quid for 500 gold, that is an absolute rip-off. Um, it's actually disgusting how much they charge. Premium is also something you don't need, even though I foolishly bought this when I first... You know, I bought Premium when I first uh, started playing this game about a week ago, less than that even. I mean, I've been playing this five days. Um, yeah, so, to get more gold, firstly, you want to check this. Every day you're going to be you're going to get two tasks that you can do. You can see that I've already completed one of these tasks, which was to deal two two million, uh, two and a quarter million damage is the easiest way to say that. And for that I get thirty gold. So let's take that. Okay. And the uh, and another task for today for another thirty gold is win eight battles. Well, I'm at seven of eight, so um, we can go ahead and uh, we know we're going to get that one today. What I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to absolutely fucking rape the competition. Um, it is kind of a bit dickish this playstyle, but if you just want to uh, if you just want to farm lots of gold, then this is the kind of uh, loadouts you want to do. I, st I didn't start off with these three bots. These three bots each cost 1,200 gold. Um, admittedly, I bought the first bot with real money. That an offer popped up offering me this bot with those three missile launchers for uh, I think it was four quid. So I was like, yeah, we'll do that because that's the bot I was trying to earn anyway. Um, what you actually want to have, if, if you've only just started the game, or you're going to go out and, and get download the game to your mobile device, um, you, you start off with one of these puppies, not one of those. I might have actually uh, sold the one. Let's quickly show you it. So that one, what you want to do is use three of these guys, each with the piñata rocket uh, rocket launchers, you know, on the left and right hand side, uh, until you could, you've earned yourself enough gold to uh, upgrade to the the Gepard or the Jeopard or whatever the fuck it's called um, which are these three here these are my uh, Jeopards or Gepards whatever you want to call them I'm just going to call them Gepards from, from here on in um, yeah and then uh, yeah put, put three of the pinatas on those Gepards you want to keep the, the bot levels at bot, bot level 1 all of mine are uh, bot level 1 so don't upgrade the uh, the bot level because you want to stay in the sort of lower tier matches um, because that's where you can cause absolute devastation. Although, be warned, there are a few other people that know this kind of, uh, you know, uh, what is it, a trick, I suppose, to uh, farm gold. Basically, the, uh, the crux of it is for every match um, that you win, somebody on your team will get awarded five gold for... Uh, being the highest damage dealer and five gold for capturing the most points and what we're setting out to do is deal the most damage and capture the most points in every battle and believe me it's actually not that hard as you can see here 86% of the games I've played I've won which means you get gold the people on the losing team do not get awarded any gold for anything um, I've had 199 victories uh, I've destroyed up to 12 bots in one game that's like Considering it's a 6v6 match, always, that's sort of, uh, I've killed everyone twice in one game. Uh, and my max damage so far in uh, any one battle has been 470,000. And I've won 35 games in a row, max. Anyway, on with the show. Okay. So you come into the game, select your robot, as you can see I've got three Gepards. The first thing you want to be doing uh, is looking around at, for the closest beacons to you f immediately, because this is the fastest bot as well. Um, you can race to the beacons before anybody else uh, and take them, um, which obviously puts your team ahead of the competition and gives you the, uh, the points for taking the, taking the beacons in the first place. Um, just to let you know, this, this uh, bot that I'm using at the moment has got three, um, three magnums fitted onto it. These are sort of the next level up from the piñatas. 
um, but they take workshop points to buy them which you can obtain at level 20 so you have to get to level 20 before you can get these um, but the pinatas which I'll use later on if I die I'll, I'll show you the tactics but the tactics are very much the same for both weapons it's basically just keep moving when you're out in the open use cover uh, if you're being attacked just get behind cover so that they can't hit you uh, and just keep doing damage and taking the uh, beacons so you can see there's another beacon there which I'm going to take now and I'm going to head straight to uh, beacon number C uh, be beacon C which is in the, the middle of the map there you can see it's white um, this is a sort of pinch point of the whole the whole game here so I run over to oh shit we got oh shit he's got a thunder this I was going to come to this these guys that weapon is what you need to avoid it uh, if you're going to play these tactics that I'm using that weapon that that guy's got there will absolutely devastate you in, uh, in about five or six shots. So I'm going to quickly try and eliminate him before he starts shooting at me again. He's shooting at me. He's nearly dead though. Okay, we've dealt with him. You can see the enemy's actually taken B. You can see in the middle there. So I'm going to just sit under the bridge and take that back and shoot him at the same time. Again, you just want to keep doing damage. You should get your five gold for damage as well. It doesn't matter if you get the kill. It really doesn't matter. You just want to you just want to be putting out the most damage on your team to get that five gold uh, and you want to get the five gold for taking the most beacons um, so run up here I've only got half health left now to get quite a bit of damage if I'm doing there's a lot of dudes up here shooting at me as well what you might find is if, uh, if other players see you with pinatas which are the, the red rocket pods um, they might just start all shooting at you which is probably the wisest thing to do just unleashed a barrage of rockets on me. Let's try and take him out. He's a jumping idiot. I don't like these jumpy ones. They're much harder to hit. Just put a few last ones into him. Okay, he's dealt with. Okay, we've still got three points. You can see at the top of the screen, A, B, C, D, E. That's that's the beacons. Um, to the left and right. Uh, to the left and right of that, you've got the blue bar and the red bar. That's your dominance level. Obviously, that, that, both the red and the blue ones will uh, be sort of draining away very slowly, but the more points that your team has makes the enemy one drain away faster, and when it's drained away completely, that's when you lose the game. I think I'm about to lose this bar, I'm taking a lot of damage now, so I'm just going to try and get some more damage out. He's done. I think I'm done as well, yeah. Okay, so I'll use the, uh, the bot with the pinatas now. This is what you'll be using. You get these, when you buy them, they come as level 5 anyway, so you just want to keep the bot at level 1. It's really important to keep the bots at level 1, and, and don't upgrade your weapons past level 6. Um, that way that'll keep you in this sort of uh, lower, lower tier here where farming gold is just much easier. If you start upgrading all your shit, it's just going to put you in games that are much harder, and you're not going to be able to, to farm gold. Uh, should have been that one covered into a those rockets. Just gonna put a unload into him. Should take him down. Oh, he's got a smidgen left. That's all right though. I'll let one of my other teammates finish him off. Again, it's all about damage, so he's taking enough damage. Okay, just sort of having a look what's going on. Is anyone actually gonna stop him taking our beacon up there? There's a guy on the bridge. It's our friend, and he's just letting that guy come right past him and not doing anything about it. Excellent. Teammates, you can rely on. Okay, this dude needs to die. These pinata rockets, there you go, he's absolutely dead. Got him with the pinatas, they're, they're absolutely brutal. Um, oh, he's got a shotgun, we need to kill him. I'm going to just run down here and get some cover while my uh, missiles reload. Again, when you're out in the open, just keep moving. Don't stop, don't just stand there because you'll get absolutely butchered. Let's try and get a load into him, finish him off. Yeah, he's done. Okay, I'm taking a lot of fire from him as well, so I'm just going to sort of strafe left and make it much harder for him to hit me. Oh god, I'm stuck in terrain. Alright, and again, the tactics you want to employ is just simple hit and run tactics. Just stay in cover so nobody can see you. One, when your rockets have reloaded, pop out and unleash, just like that. We should go down. Don't forget to lead your shots in. I'm going to go and take this beacon as well. Just make sure, yeah, you sort of, if a guy's running, shoot in front of it. Because obviously, the, uh, you know, you need to lead your shots in a little bit. Take this beacon here. So we're going to, now we've, we've got, we own four of the beacons now. That's going to really start to drain the, uh, the dominance level of the enemy. We just ate a load of rockets as well. 
Another cool thing about the rockets is sometimes it will actually blow weapons up, it will blow the weapon turrets off the enemy players, even if they don't die, like they, they could be missing two or three of their weapons. I didn't really need to fire all my rockets at him then, but why not? Um, it is quite funny, yeah, you can sort of shoot at an enemy and blast off their turrets. There's a, it's, it's, it's quite funny. You can see like a little bit of black smoke. We'll uh, pop round the corner and finish him off anyway, if my teammate doesn't finish him off. I mean, we've definitely won this now. We own three of the, uh, three of the points. Yeah, he's missing his weapon turret now as well. Let my uh, teammate finish him off. I'm going to go up here and take this beacon, but it looks like all enemy robots are dead. Doesn't look like any more are spawning in, so this is a uh, another easy win. That should be the end of it. We, we own all the points now, so yeah. All enemy robots destroyed. Awesome. Did we get our 10 gold? Yes, we did. So we were the top the top damage dealer and the top beacon taker for that round, which means we get 5 and 5, so it's 10 gold. Uh, did 327,000 damage. Awesome. 7 kills, five, 5 beacons. That's some easy gold. Anyway, if you found this video uh, useful or interesting, whatever, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Leave comments if you uh, if you have any questions or anything with uh, anything I've sort of talked about in this video. And hopefully I shall see you for the next one. Thanks for watching, dudes. And yes, goodbye.